you know, over the next few months, you're going to see some political stuff that you will definitely, definitely be angry at me for saying. But who do I care about? You. And if I have to yell at you, if I have to verbally emasculate you, I will do it. If I have to wake you up because you've been so brainwashed that you don't even recognize it by both parties, that you've been so brainwashed that when you go to the polls, frankly, both parties count on you being a zombie. Not using your brain like I use mine. Not using yours. And sometimes, hey, I get fooled too. So I'm going to say it in a nicer way. The Republican Party does not care about you or your children or your life. Now, before you go leaving because you're a conservative Republican, you might want to listen because your life may very well depend on it. I know that sounds radical, but I'll tell you what, let me fill you in on something. Your operative, Carl Rove, said at one point, he said, when appropriate, I'll be partisan. Well, guess what? When patriotic, when, pra when patriotic, I will clean house. And I will use worse than bleach. It's time you listen. The fact of the matter is, we need gun control in America. I'm not going to get into the long-winded stuff. Just listen. That's all I ask. I'm an American. You're an American. Listen. We need gun control. And we also need to be trained, each of us, who has a firearm. I am a former gun owner. Yeah, registered Democrat, and I like guns. That's right. But I made sure that I got trained. We train to drive a car. We get a license to get married. So on and so forth, okay? Why should we have a machine gun or an assault weapon, weapon and no training? Now, the National Rifle Association and any gun lobbyist, they would have you believe that gun control doesn't work and that it's a way for you to lose your rights to a firearm. Well, I can guarantee you I would fight for our rights to keep firearms. In fact, I even favor machine guns. What? That's right. As long as you're properly trained and you don't go around killing animals with them or humans. Look, I don't like hunting. But even if I did like hunting, you don't need a machine gun to kill an animal. So let's listen up and let's use some brains. The National Rifle Association has two different acronyms that they really should be called. Non-realistic Americans. And frankly, not really Americans. Why do I say that? Let's think about this for a minute. Newtown, Orlando, Florida, Orlando, Florida, Colorado, a movie theater, so on and so forth. And yet, no gun control. They allow terrorists or people on the terrorist watch still today in America to get guns. Terrorists or possible terrorists. The Republicans are definitely afraid of the National Rifle Association and a lot of Democrats are cowardly afraid too. Look, let me tell you a little bit about a President Tricasso's administration. If I were a president, I know I have an eye issue. If I were president, this is what I would do. Political suicide be damned. I would do what's right for every American. I wouldn't care about the freaking lobbyists of the left, right, or upside, downside, backwards, forward. I don't care. I care about the greater good. And I'm also not going to worry about my personal or physical safety. If I am elected president of this country, Congresswoman, I mean Congresswoman, I better not be no more. I'm not getting a sex change. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't get a problem if you do, but I'm not. <laughs> I have to say Congressman <laughs> or U.S. Senator. Oh my gosh, I just gave myself a sex change. I love women, but I don't want to be one. No offense to y'all women out there, but hey, 
happens sometimes. You screw up. I'm tired. I've been up since 6 a.m. yesterday. And that's actually the truth. Nothing but the truth. At any rate, getting back to the business at hand. If I were the president, a senator, or a congressman, my first duty is to the American people. To the American people. Because, look, if we don't fight back legally, ethically, and peacefully, we won't have a country in a few years. I don't mean we won't physically have a country. I don't mean we won't physically still live here under the illusion. But what we live under will not be America. It will not be what our men and women fought and died for or fought and lived for. So if you really want to save America, you're not going to go out and vote for a bunch of, well, let's say, idiots that don't want to protect you. Here's what you will do. You'll vote for Democrats that are moderate and progressive and liberal and Republicans that are moderate, progressive, and liberal. You see, you thought I, just, I was going to say no Republicans. I said progressive Republicans, moderate Republicans, and liberal Republicans. I don't want a Democrat that's a conservative, and I don't want a Republican. Now, before you go spilling your beer or your tea or your milk or your water or your coffee, America can't afford conservatism right now. Not really. Too many Americans are suffering. You want to talk about make America great? Please. Donald Trump's slogan is make America great again. Let me tell you something. I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to talk about making America great again in my next video. And I promise you, at real Donald Trump, he may just have a wee bit of problem holding down food after I'm done. You see, I'm going to do it ethically, peacefully, but I am going to wake the dead and the brainwashed. At real Donald Trump, you don't know I exist, but that is at your peril, my friend, and you are not my friend. It's at your peril because I will ethically, legally tell the truth to my fellow Americans and you will not see yourself in that White House because you are dangerous to America. Oh, and by the way, Donald Trump, who the F am I? I'll tell you who I am. I'm a patriot that gives a damn.